Hello everybody, this is uh, Dr. Schweinsgruber from audioreviews.org and today we are taking on these little rascals here. These are the Tin Audio T2 Plus earphones and uh, if you want to see some more pictures and a written text that accompanies this video, which is actually better than this video, um, you just have to look down there and you find all the, the links also for the graphs. Uh, the You've heard of um, a lot about uh, Tin Hi-Fi, formerly Tin Audio, a company that came out of nowhere in 2017 with their T2 earphone, which was a neutrally tuned earphone at around $50. And that was at the time almost sensational because everything else in this price range was strongly V-shaped and uh, all the same. So this was different, this was refreshing, this was new. And so they came out with the T2 and then the T3, the T4, there was the last one, the T2 Pro was there. And now, after the T4, they continue with the T2 Plus. Strange, but hey. Um, so the T2 Plus is, uh, it was just released and uh, it uh, has a list uh, price of um, $59, but uh, street price is more like $45. Uh, it's a single dynamic driver, it's got a 10 millimeter woofer, it's uh, got a uh, impedance of 32 ohms and a sensitivity at 104 um, uh, dB. So that's actually good enough to drive that thing with your phone. And I'm sorry for the zooming in and out, I'm waiting for camera equipment. Here's a good look at this thing. It's, it's an absolutely beautiful um, little um, earphone. You see it's, the shells are very well rounded. There is nothing peaking. It's, the ergonomics are fantastic. Isolate, isolation may be so, so ergonomics is fantastic. It comes with a really nice cable, which you don't really see. Again, this cable is much better than the T4 rubbery, crude rubbery cable. So uh, the build uh, is uh, stainless steel. It's top notch and it's a very beautiful little uh, earphone. So the three things though you want to take home from this uh, review is the three main, I just still have to find the camera in my hand, the three main things I want to take home is the tonal accuracy. This tonal, the tonal accuracy, the timber is fantastic of this earphone. Um, and uh, the second one is the build which I just mentioned and then the ergonomics which I mentioned too. So what does it sound like? And the Tin Hi-Fi earphones, as I said, they usually have a very minimalistic bass. People sometimes complain it's not enough. They also have a relatively thin mid-range. And all of this has been addressed in this, in this uh, earphone. And I want to show you um, some graph here. Let's just see whether we have space for the graph. Okay, so what do the T2 Plus sound like? And the best uh, way of explaining this is comparing them with the current uh, top model, the T4. Um, uh, the T4, that are uh, much more expensive, um, up to $109, street price sometimes $79, but it's almost twice as much as the T2 Plus. And I tell you right away, this difference is unfounded and I actually find the T2 Plus the better earphone. It's much more balanced much more, just much more, just much more homogeneous sounding. And when we look at the graphs, what we see, we see the T2 plus in red and the T4 in blue. And you see up to one kilohertz, they're pretty much identical almost. I mean, the T2, they're a little bit warmer, they have a little bit more, one, two dB more uh, upper base, lower mid-range, uh, makes them warm, makes them the warmest um, tin hi-fi earphone I've heard so far. But when you would climb up into the lower mid-range, into the upper mid-range at about 2 kilohertz, that's where the upper mid-range start, you see that blue is bigger and that's the T4. And that is, um, that is uh, excess energy which thins out the lower mid-range and the vocals. And that is much better handled in the T2. And the vocals department in the T2 is richer, it's more sumptuous, it's much nicer. When you go up to, into the, uh, into the, let's just see to this one, what the heck is that thing? When you go up to, um, to the 10 kilohertz, 11 kilohertz, so this uh, peak is a, is a resonance. So the, the T4 has more punch, it has more power, it has more, 
oomph more pizzazz but the t2 plus is more balanced it's more homogeneous and it's to me the better sounding earphone so if you're not if but if you like metal or if you like any strong powerful music you just stick with your t4 if you have the t4 you don't need the t2 plus at all anyway so let's just continue and uh, and compare the T2 Plus to the Moondrop SSR. The Moondrop SSR came out a few days earlier. It retails a little bit lower at about $40. They saved a little bit of money in the build. The um, T2 Plus is more lavishly built. The finish is better. But what you see, you see again the T2 Plus in pink and you see the Moondrop SSR in blue and you see that the Moondrop has a uh, lesser, lesser low end. And that is actually really nice. It is a very good transition from this articulate bass uh, into the lower mid-range. Very, very good and couldn't be better. But when you go up, when you go to the 3 kilohertz, you see that blue is way above pink. And that means you have a real screamer here, real, uh, um, a real peak, and that may be piercing for some people. And that's where the big difference is between the SSR and uh, the T2+. Plus. The T2+, Plus also has a better a taller sound stage then the technicalities of the t2 plus are so that the the stage is is, is wider than the deep it's pretty tall it's deep enough the resolution detail resolution all this stuff is actually average just like with the t4 it doesn't break a world record and I did actually a comparison now to my absolute favorite single dynamic driver earphone. It's a little bit unfair because this one costs $250. And it is the JVC HA FDX1. Um, again, you see the uh, T2 Plus in pink and you see the expensive JVCs in green. And uh, again, they're very similar, but when you go up between three and four kilohertz, the JVCs have more upper mid range. And their signature is actually sort of not shouty, but borderline shouty. Some people don't like it. Some people put a filter in to reduce this upper mid-range. But the point is that this is still tolerable. The green curve and you see the pink curve is way, way flatter and is actually technically better looking. So that is so, so but of course the um, JVC is a better driver, more expensive driver. It's got more node weight. It's got more dynamics uh, the um, t2 plus are dynamically flatter um, and uh, um, the, also the sound stage of the jvc's is of course better okay so that is it for the t2 plus again what we take home is great tonal accuracy great build and great uh, ergonomics now if you like this video i'm I just ordered a camera equipment. If you like this video, you see down there a PayPal link. And you can donate. Uh, I ordered microphones. I ordered light. I need equipment to make better videos. That is pretty pathetic. I'm just using, I don't even have a tripod right now. I'm just using a phone and a computer. You also find uh, a subscribe button. And that's the most important thing. Please subscribe. Please like us. Um, and... Um, there is also this bell that you can uh, get notifications. So that was for you um, the, let's just see where that focuses, the beautiful and good sounding Tin Hi-Fi T2 Plus. See you next time. I'm Dr. Schweinsgruber and I'm out. Goodbye.